things to consider before you buy a used camper, travel trailer, or RV. Stay tuned. Make you sure you take a second to hit that subscribe button right now and stick around to the end where I talk about where you can get a free pre-trip checklist. All right, so today I want to tell you some more things that you really need to check um, before you buy a used RV. And the reason is uh, I've seen it time and time again where people have bought an RV and then they found out things were wrong with it that uh, they, if they just did a little bit of checking first, they would have known. So I already did a video about this and a lot of it was about uh, water damage and things like that. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. It's more about the systems of the unit. Uh, so number one, when I would go into a unit or if I was gonna go into a unit and considering buying a used RV, I want to make sure there's some power to this unit. So ask the owner, can we hook up a battery or something? Whatever, if, if they're not willing to do that, that's not sign number one to walk away. There's probably a lot more issues than you want to deal with. But most likely they're going to say, yeah, absolutely. We can hook something up and get the power turned on. Once they do, you try everything. Turn the light switches on. Turn on anything that is powered up. Plug something into the outlets. Check these outlets to ensure that they are working. Bring something with you that you can plug in quickly. Uh, as well as a um, phone charger because lots of the newer campers have USB port so you want to ch plug something in to see if they're getting power now keep in mind in some cases they may have to be a generator running or something like that so take all that into account not all these things are powered all the time but you know figure out what you need to do to test these things out while you're on that uh, subject of trying outlets and stuff like that uh, like i said make sure you turn every single light on now, um, if one light doesn't work, you know, it's not the end of the, the sale, it could be just a burnt bulb. But if you have like a whole section of the unit that lights don't work, that could mean there's something else going on. So you just want to be aware of it. It doesn't mean you're not going to buy the unit, but know what you're getting into ahead of time. So another very important thing that most people don't do before they buy a used camper is check the water systems. If there is not water in the tanks, ask the owner, to get some water into the tanks. Hopefully they're willing to do that. If, you, if they're not, then make that contingent to the sale that you can get to camper somewhere to get water in it and fill it up. Make sure there's no leaks in the uh, freshwater tank and then run through the system. You know, make sure your faucets are all working, nothing's leaking, that they things shut off. This also includes the outside uh, shower faucet. Check that too. Make sure there's no drippage back there. Again, these are all simple things, and most often than not, you're going to find that there's nothing wrong. But if there is, you want to know ahead of time. You know, again, that's a, also a negotiating factor as far as the price. Um, one important thing not to miss is the water heater. Get that thing full of water, open up the compartment on the outside of the unit, make sure there's nothing leaking there, fire it up. If it's electric and uh, propane or however it uses to heat, try all of the features, turn them on, take the time to do this now. Even though it may seem like it's tedious, it's gonna save you a lot of headaches down the road if you were to come across a, a problem. So yeah, get the water heater full of water, get it on in all the different modes that it can do. Uh, test out your faucets, make sure you're getting hot water everywhere you're supposed to get, and then you know that system is okay. Uh, along the lines of doing that, you're gonna be running the pump. So listen to the pump, make sure that it sounds okay, that it's pumping water. Is it, sh once you shut the faucets off, is it building pressure up and shutting down properly and not continually running? If it continually runs, then there's either a leak somewhere or there's leak by the pump and it's not maintaining pressure in the lines. And if that's the case, the pump could burn out prematurely. Again, these are all things to check. Another thing you wanna test out is the heating system. So take a minute, even if it's in the summertime, this is when you'd be least likely to check this. Turn the furnace on. Figure out how it runs, talk to the owner, get the information on it, get it up, get it running, and make sure it's blowing heat. And get, you know, just check all of the vents, make sure everything's coming out okay. Make sure there's no foul smell that, you know, maybe something got in there or whatever. So again, the last thing you want is to pick this thing up in June, head out with it, and then in August or something, you want a little bit of heat, find out it doesn't work, or even worse yet, the, you know, maybe there's animals nest in there and you're getting some foul smells. You want to know this stuff long before you're out camping, because these are the things that could ruin your trip really quick. And last but not least for this particular video is the AC unit. So you want to take a minute, and this would be good to do after you, 
uh, you've run the heater because then you're going to know right away if it's cooling the unit down. And fire that AC up. Try it on fan. Try it on low cool, high cool, high fan. Try all the settings. And you want to do this systematically with everything in the camper. If there's a, you know, a TV, try it. Doesn't mean you won't purchase it, but you want to know before you buy. Once you've bought this thing and you roll it off their yard and you take it, it is yours. Unless they blatantly lied about something and you can prove it, which can be very difficult sometimes, it is now your problem. So you want to know what is wrong with it, if anything, long before you buy. Uh, actually, one more thing I want to add on there is the stove. Turn the stove on. Make sure all the burners are working. Are they burning properly? You're getting a nice blue flame. Is the oven, if it has an oven, is that working? Fire it up. Make sure it's coming on and off properly to, you know, just to, again, alleviate any problems down the road. And one more, I just re realized I forgot another thing, and I'm sure I'll think of more, and if I do, I'll do another video, but the microwave. If there's a microwave slash convection oven, get a cup of water, put it in there, fire it up. Make sure it's actually working properly to the best of your knowledge. Again, you just want to take your time, walk through the unit. I would go in one side, walk your way around, testing all of the uh, things that you need to test, work your way up the other side of the camper, and make sure things are working the way they are supposed to before you put any money down on any unit anywhere. Uh, this is more important with a private sale, but I would still be uh, cautious at some dealerships and things like that as well, just to protect you. Although, the, you know, if there's some sort of warranty, uh, that's a little bit different story. Anyway, uh, thanks for swinging by two Campy Gurus. Please take a moment to comment, like, and if you have something I missed on this particular video, add it down in here. Or if you have a question, please ask that question right down here in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Click on that free pre-trip checklist. Now that's right down here in the description. We want to make sure if you're going to head on an open road, you have done your um, due diligence to make sure you and your unit are ready to go. And I provide that for you. Uh, it's right down in the description. Free pre-trip checklist.gr8.com. And you're going to get an ebook and a checklist that you can walk around your unit and make sure it's ready to hit the road. Anyway, thanks a lot. Have a great day. And as always, happy camping.